Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed Okay, that was just a really loud clap. But I hope that you guys enjoyed that little a clip of Chapel enjoying his morning routine. He already knows what I do. I come over here by the window, open up the window, and he loves looking out the window. There's usually like a few birds that like love to hang around here at this tree. So he like loves to watch bird watch bird watch he likes to bird watch so yeah um i just finished getting done with a few orders and got them packaged up over here i have to edit a video right now so it can go up tonight well you guys would have already watched it by the time you guys see this video yeah gonna do that and then clean up my apartment and then I want to finish up the rest of the orders that I have so that's an, that's just a goal that I have today whether I do it after cleaning or by tonight I want to do that so Valerie's in school right now so yeah that's basically my day today I don't have anything planned how's everyone doing thank you guys like just thank you so much for everything like I just can't thank you guys enough and you guys are will probably get tired of me hearing here get tired of hearing me say thank you but I will forever be thankful and grateful for everything you guys do for me I do want to get back into the routine of working out like I really 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 do and I'm just like having such a hard time motivating myself to to do it and i keep writing it in my planner that i'm gonna wake up and i'm gonna work out well even if like i don't work out in the morning like it's at like some point during the day so you know what another goal of mine for today whether it's like during mid no like even if it's like tonight get like a little workout in you know what i'm saying like just start somewhere um i think planet fitness is offering one dollar to join I'm not sure I'm gonna like do some research and check that out um, but like you gotta start somewhere and you gotta work with what you got at the moment and everything is temporary and you gotta start somewhere that's just like I keep saying that to myself in my head like you have to start somewhere and it's always really hard to get started but like I keep trying to remember like when I was like super into working out how like awesome it was and like how awesome I felt and how strong I felt and like I'm trying to like bring back all of those feelings so that like it motivates me to want to get it to get there again because it is such a good feeling you know being strong and working out and that feeling after getting done with the workout and being like over with it and like you did it and you feel amazing like all of those feelings I'm just trying to remember <laughs> trying to remember how I felt when it was like that uh, just so I can like get back to it because I do miss working out <sighs> and now I have time so like no excuses girl like no excuses I beg you to convince me that he does not look like Chewbacca please convince me that he doesn't look like him so I had a great idea thanks to one of you guys um somebody said to have some somebody someone said in one of my videos to have you guys submit to me any like scary stories that you guys have 
So I've created an email that I will leave in the description box so that you guys could submit to me any scary stories that you guys want me to talk about on my channel. I think that for like the month of October, that would be like really awesome to tell some spooky, scary, real stories from experiences of you guys. Like if you guys have had any paranormal, spooky, scary experiences happen to you that you can't explain and like you want to share with me and I can talk about it in one of the videos um, or make like a like a spooky, scary story series on my channel for like the month of October. That would be awesome. Um, so please feel free if you would like for me to like share one of your stories. Um, I'm going to create an email just so you guys could submit those stories to me and that would be like so awesome. Like that would be actually like really fun. I took my poor money tree outside to see if she would thrive. Uh, just thinking some more sunlight and weather outside would bring her to grow more. But instead, taking her outside is like killing her. Oh my goodness, I am so sorry. It rained last night. So, I mean, she had water and everything, but like literally, look at her. She's like so sad outside. So I'm bringing her, bringing her back inside. This is my money tree. Uh, I'm so sorry. Look at her. So sad, oh my God. Look, I've never seen this happen to my poor plant. And I'm so sorry. I'm gonna put her back in her spot. Picking up Valerie from school right now, then dropping off some orders at the post office, and then I'm going to Dollar Tree because we're gonna do a Dollar Tree Halloween decoration haul. Okay, so I'm really excited for that. Uh, but I do want to go pick up some mail at my parents and they're not there right now. But my car's been making this like really weird noise and I'm so scared to like go far, far with it. But I do need to go check the mail for some papers. But I should, I like I need to go, but my car's being weird. So I'm like scared to take it all the way over there. Well, if I end up going to my parents, say a little prayer, and hopefully the next clip, we're at my parents' place and we made it. All right, guys, I made it out to my parents, picked up my mail. Uh, now we're, I'm gonna head out to a Dollar Tree that's actually like right by my parents' house um, because they usually have like a lot of stuff too. So let's go see what kind of fun Halloween decorations they have. Guys, I'm at the Dollar Tree in the suburbs by my parents, and these are a dollar. One dollar, y'all. Like, look at all the lashes. One dollar. I have never seen such lashes at Dollar Tree. And never in my life have I purchased lashes for one dollar. And they're really, really nice. Look at it. Does exactly what I like and love. So I picked up a couple and then I also saw these. They look like the Wispies from Ardell. And these are the LA Color in the Diva 976, but they look like Wispies. On our way back, we passed by La Dulcelandia, the Mexican candy store, and I had to get a packet of this so bad. Literally, the only thing we stopped in there for was this packet of Obleas. Do you guys know what Obleas are? Have you guys ever tried them? They're wafers. They literally taste like nothing, but I'm like obsessed. Obsessed with them. So, I picked up a packet and I just love them. They're plain. They don't taste like nothing, but for some reason, I'm just like obsessed with them. Every time my mom goes to Mexico, I ask her to please just bring me back one packet. That's all I want. What about from Mexico? A packet of Obleas. That's it. Nothing else. Literally. So if you ever are in Mexico, because like the ones from Mexico are like legit my favorite, favorite tasting ones. And I'm telling you, they don't have a taste. They're just like very plain, but I love them. But the ones from Mexico have like a different taste, slightly different. 
and I love them even more. So if like you guys are ever in Mexico and you don't have a lot to bring back, you guys can definitely bring me back a little packet of these because these are amazing. Making dinner as we speak and just basically some tilapia in some olive oil and seasoned with some garlic salt. The Lari's brand is my favorite. Tilapia is done. It never comes out whole and beautiful with me. I don't know why. Maybe I just need a different pan so it doesn't stick to the pan because that's the issue. So I'm probably using the wrong pan. And then I chopped up a, chopped up an avocado over here. And I have mine and Valerie's plate here. And now, oh, I threw a little bit of more olive oil into the pan. And you can see all like the leftover pieces from the tilapia, but that's fine. Uh, do the asparagus in here. So yeah, just sauteing it in some olive oil, some salt, and I'm gonna just sprinkle a little bit of black pepper on top. Dinner is ready, and this asparagus is gonna be fire. I put half a lime on each of our plates because I love my tilapia or any fish with lime. I'm trying to get into the habit of washing the dishes as soon as there is a dish or even a fork or a spoon, whatever it is, to just wash. Because if I let the dishes sit, I could wake up having a bad day tomorrow and like they'll just sit there and accumulate, you know? So, <clears throat> trying to get into the habit of just washing right away. Washing dishes right away as soon as they're dirty, wash them, wash them, wash them, wash them. So, that's what I'm doing right now. Just wash dishes, now just washing the sink, and all done. Good. Okay, here's Valerie's lunch. Packed her some colorful carrots. This ranch packet that I made her a BLT without lettuce. And she took cupcakes to her school for her birthday. So these are just, this is like one of the few leftovers. So I'm just gonna put it here on the side so she can have it for lunch as well. Que no se haga malo. And then over here, some Terra chips, a bubbly, her card, and her fun fact of the day. 10.30 at the moment, Valerie's sleeping. And I've been working on this set for, for the past hour and some change. And I'm finally all done, but look at, these are the long coffin. It came out so pretty. I know they seem like super easy, but like guys, the time and work that goes into these sets is just love, dedication, passion. Um, like I said, this set took me an hour and a little bit, actually a little bit over an hour and I'm just done. So I just, if you guys put an order in and um, it might, it, it will be sent within the week because like I said, um, especially when I do have a lot of orders, which I really appreciate and I love uh, each order, I take my time with it. I put a lot of passion into it. And I just want to make sure that they look really nice. So yeah, they do take um, quite some time to finish. But yeah, like I said, I'm done with this beautiful set and I do have a couple more to do, which I'm going to try to do right now because tomorrow I'm going to fill the hall, film the hall um, and decorate the place. So I have some other things and videos in mind for tomorrow. So I just want to like get these orders done and like out the way so that I'm not like behind, if that makes sense. This set is like really pretty. I am going to film a video of how to apply press on nails. I've mentioned this before in other videos, but I basically give you your little nail kit and I'm just going to show you really quick what I include in the nail kit. Um, I have this card that I put inside of the nail kit and every order comes with a kit. Uh, and it's just basically like directions how to apply your press on nails uh, in the kit comes this glue stick a cuticle pusher a file and some alcohol pads and these this sheet of nail stickers which I give you enough for you to be able to apply them on um, more than once so I give you the two options whether you want to do the glue option or the sticker option I just always put it in the little baggie, just whatever guys, whatever you guys want to choose. But yeah, I will be filming a video on how to put your press on nails on so that you guys could like 
be your own pro nail tag. Okay, so I'm currently in the process of decorating and I was removing all of these leaf window stickers that I had on my windows prior and I hadn't removed them in like, I think it's been like a year or over a year. Uh, and they were hard to come off. And then I had to clean the windows with some good old Windex and clean, clean, clean so they look really nice and they stick on really good. And they look so cute. So it's been a workout. It's been a workout. I've been here for a while. But they look really cute. I'm going to show you guys right now. I just have like a few more stars on here. But like they're so cute. I'm like super, super obsessed with these. And like the color scheme too. You know, you know how I'm going for that. I'm going for a purple, black vibe which i'm hoping that i get to when i'm done with all of this but for now like the windows look super cute let me show you super super cute love and then we got these yep the reason i have these on right here these are private this is a privacy window film and i have it there because like my office is right here but like i don't like like okay in the winter or like in the fall there's not going to be any more of these beautiful leaves here so like everybody can like see inside so i put this up i got it on amazon probably gonna have to put another one on soon at some point if it starts to come off it hasn't came off so i'm just gonna leave it alone but i put it on because i don't like people looking inside i mean like not that i like hate it i don't hate it it's just that like i'd be here in my area and i turn around and like people would be like dead ass staring and it was just awkward so i ordered this off of amazon and i just put it on the bottom one and i left like the top ones open because like it's all sky nobody can see so yeah <sighs> still working at it officially done filming this Dollar Tree haul and now it's time to like decorate my place. I want to show you guys my outfit for today because it's totally a vibe. Remember that dress from Dolls Kill? It really looks cute with some leggings. I wasn't planning to wear it like this, but like it's super short on me and I'm not gonna like go be out there right now like that. I mean, I do have these um, tights that I think would look super cute with this, but like for now, for today, we're gonna, we're gonna rock it like this. It's super cute, like, I love it. Okay, but he's like low-key vibing with the uh, Halloween aesthetic. Is he winking at us? <laughs> okay, dude. Hey, Dollar Tree's where it's at, y'all. A little evening snack. Some cucumber with lime, salt, and some tahin. Are you guys watching the Squid Game? It's really good. Highly recommend. Everyone who got eliminated in red light, green light was shot by a sniper rifle. We could Hello guys, it is the next day. I am currently working on packing up an order now So I have a couple orders that I'm gonna go drop at the post office at this point This is becoming like what I did this week vlog because it's a lot of vlogs since I did put up the um, Dollar Tree haul so there's gonna be a few Vlogs within this vlog, but I hope that you guys are enjoying the, the long vlog somebody in that video suggested i do vlogtober and you know what i'm gonna take on that challenge of vlogtober and then isn't there something like that for christmas i can't remember but for sure i'm gonna do vlogtober i'm gonna do my best i'm gonna do my best to get creative and do vlogtober guys i am back home i know i didn't take you guys with me but basically we went on a quick starbucks run after we dropped off the packages but i came home to a um, 
unwrapped some mail and I want to show you guys what I got. Finally, the rest of the PJs that my girl Stephanie sent me got here and I'm going to try them on. It's this pumpkin one, uh, this one, which is the one that Valerie had in the last video but except in my size, and a skeleton one, and Valerie has the same one. Skeleton one, so I'm gonna try them on for you. They're all a 2X, and they're from Target. All right, guys, let me show you guys what this... These are the skeleton PJs. Don't they look super cool? I think that these look so, so dope. Valerie got the same ones. All right, loves, and here are this. These PJs, these are super cute. They have little spider webs and bats and pumpkins and moons and stars i love this set like it's so pretty again this is in a size 2x they're super super stretchy so i i wouldn't size up if i were you just stick to your size because they're super super stretchy and super super comfortable okay guys these are my favorite and here is a pumpkin i think that these are my favorite honestly out of all of them it's just so cute uh, you got the striped sleeves, striped pants, and pumpkin pumpkin top. And like I really like the the green sleeves uh, at the end. Love them. All right, my loves. That is literally it for this video. I am gonna stay in these cozy PJs. And yeah, I'm gonna start editing this video because it's gonna be a lot. I already know it's gonna be a lot in this video. But get ready for vlogtober because i'm coming for it i plan on putting up a video every single day it's gonna be a challenge because i'm trying to I, i'm trying to post like every other day but like now i'm gonna try to do every single day for vlogtober so please submit to me your true ghost stories uh in the email i have made i will put it down in the description box below i know some of you have already submitted your stories and i'm so excited um to do that so yeah i'm just like super hyped and excited to do that that's why i do have like the spooky background that um that i set up from dollar tree and yeah i'm so excited like it's gonna be really fun um in october so super excited for that and totally can't wait so yeah guys all right love you guys so much i hope that you guys enjoyed this video please let me know in the comments down below also continue to give me video ideas because all of that is appreciated okay like i need that i need the inspiration the ideas you guys are awesome thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you guys in my next video bye